scared of him. I've grown. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as we walk up, we need like, some Joe Boo. Somebody with Joe Boo good in my life. Appreciate you, Joe Boo. Thank y'all. Right. Well, we appreciate it. We appreciate it. What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. You know, I think the Cowboys may need to suit up Joe Boo at this point. I, I honestly think that maybe the Cowboys need to suit up Joe Boo because they ain't trying to do anything. You know, I had a conversation with Mike, not Michael, my son, Mike, who's uh, down wanting to learn some things and all that. And he was asking me, he said, well, who's to blame, you know, on the team when the team doesn't do well? I said, well, the quarterback is, is the one that always gets the blame. And he said, well, who gets the credit when they win? I said, it's the quarterback. And I said, in reality that you have to look at it as situations because it's not just one guy. You can't look at and say that, you know, Aaron Rodgers has been one of the best quarterbacks of football, but yet he only has one Super Bowl. And then you can look at and say, um, it, does that say that Trent Dilfer and Aaron Rodgers are the same guy because they both have one? That Brad Johnson, Trent Dilfer, and Aaron Rodgers are the same guy because they each only had one? There's clearly a big difference between them. And so he had asked me about, you know, well, you know, because we just talk about football, you know, and he's got a different perspective than I do. And I had said this. I said, because we got all the storm damage and things that's out there, right? And I said, look, I said, it's not necessarily the same. I said, you know, when Jalen Hurts went to the Super Bowl, their team stayed healthy. They had the best offensive line in football. They had A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith. They had Travis Kelsey and so on. The running game was good, and it predicated on the running game. I said, that's not necessarily the same as having Dak Prescott with the 32nd ranked running game. Let me say again, the 32nd ranked running game. And then you comp compound that with the Cowboys are in the upper 20s in separation for the wide receivers. And you make it even harder when you have one great re receiver. You can take CeeDee Lamb's numbers and basically he's made what everybody else has made combined. And that's, I was saying, is a recipe for disaster because, you know, if we cover that guy because we're not worried about the running game. It makes it hard for Dak and CD to succeed, in which case mistakes happen, and of course, the quarterback gets blamed for it. But systematically, you got to look at the whole thing. And so I said, let me put it this way because we got all these vines and all these trees. The power company came through and they cut all the stuff down around the power line. It just, okay, just kind of clear cut it. And wherever it fell is where it was. So we got a mangled mess. And so we had a pair of loping shears out there first. You know, we were just trying to get the first load and stuff out into the dump. And um, on the way back, I came back and I have a, a DeWalt pruner that's an 8-inch eight, eight chainsaw blade on it, sucker. It's cordless, so you're not sucking down the fumes and things. And so I went through while well, he's loading up the truck, and I'm just, you know, just right through it. I said, so think of it this way. You could cut the stuff up with the pair of loping shears you get tired it's a whole lot more work and everything else i said but how quickly did we do the job having the right tool it was like good analogy and here's where i got flack because i said if i'm dak prescott i go talk to the cowboys and i say okay what are we about what are we about are we about when super bowls in which case, you're going to get me help to win? Or are we about creating the drama? If you're going to tell me if I take less money, you're going to invest and bring in the players so I can try and win a Super Bowl because ultimately that's what I want, then cool. Give me some assurances that's what you're going to do. If not, then I say you bleed them for every penny they get. And people will turn around and they'll say, well, if we didn't pay that guy, if we didn't pay Dak, we'd be in great shape because we could go out and we could get all these players. Bro, 
bro, we have $26 million in cap space right now. We're not going to spend that. That's going to roll over to next year. We got about $25 million next year. So that means we got $50 million right there, right? They tell you, we, can't afford, we couldn't afford Derrick Henry. Well, maybe if you hadn't made a dumbass move like Trey Lance. Like Trey Lance. Do you realize that Trey Lance is the 10th highest cap hit on our roster? 5000000 million.3. The number 10 cap hit. And he took a fourth round pick. Do you know how many good running backs are available with that pick? Do you? Derrick Henry is only $8 million. You could have had Derrick Henry in here or... You could have had another $5 million to sign somebody else, and you could have had a young stud running back. Or let's go back to the $21 million in dead money that we got. You know, we're paying Zeke $5 million of dead money from when we cut him the year before, along with a bunch of other ones. Oh, and mind you, next year, we got an $8 million dead hit for Michael Gallup. Whose idea was it to sign a guy to a big contract while he was recovering from an ACL. And then you got freaking Jerry Jones literally flying his helicopter in the middle of the field in the middle of practice. So when you look at this and say, Dak was greedy, I don't blame him one bit or CD. Because they're not the reason we're not signing anybody. I bet you, I bet you we are all going to be sick. We are going to be sick when we see what Devontae Adams goes for. It's going to be, I bet you, like a third third round pick or something small like that. And we're going to look and say, why can't we do that? We literally had Derrick Henry begging the Cowboys just to pick up the phone and talk to him. And they won't. And so when you look at this with like, say, Micah Parsons doing his podcast and having Eagle players on, I honestly can't blame the players on this because everybody, it's it's about mine. It's about me. And Jerry doesn't seem to be the guy who thinks that, you know, we're going to try and make this a Super Bowl run. We're all in. And then you tell, oh, we're all in. We're all in until we can't afford it. We're all in, but we can't afford it. Yeah, this is some bull jiggity that we're getting here from the Cowboys. But um, I don't know how it gets better. I can't look at it and say, Zeke Elliott is at fault to this. He's out there to get a paycheck. The Cowboys said, we'll sign you. Hey, okay, cool. I'll give you what I got. Dak Prescott, you know what? I'm going to get paid. At least I'm here. I can be on, you know, Venom ads and stuff. (laughs) Excuse me. On TV, being part of America's team, I'll take the money. Can't blame him. I can't blame him when I look around and I see teams that are like, you know, everybody else out there is like, oh, my God, let's go get Devontae Adams. What, what can we do to try and get that guy? The Cowboys, oh, we're, we're, we're out on him. Jerry, you're losing the fans, bro. The ones you haven't already lost. You're losing the rest of us. And that's a sad day. It's a sad day when the Dallas Cowboys, with the running games that we have had in the past, are the worst in the NFL at running the football. The worst. And Jerry, you, you are the one. You're the GM, and nobody knows how to fix this shit. I tell you what this feels like. What this feels like is the movie Major League. In that movie, she made sure that she ended up doing everything she could To make the team lose. So that way she could sell them and move them. 
you honestly feel like that's what Jerry Jones has done with this team. That he has literally gone through and he's made it as hard as possible to win. Yep. Sad day. Have a good one, good people. Peace out.